Hello there, my purple banditos. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we caught the legendary Pokemon Suicune. In today's episode, we are going to be running around the Kanto region, taking care of a couple things and doing some side quests in order to progress in our adventure. As you can see, Stripes is back with us. Den went back in the Pokebox to rest. And today, we are going to be flying back to Saffron City to take care of a couple things around that area before we continue any further. A lot of you guys have been giving me tips and suggestions that I should do these side quests. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of them before we proceed any further Okay, the first thing we need to do here in Saffron City is actually find a way to activate the train If you guys remember there is like a magnet train here and in order to do it We have to come inside this house uh, We have to pull out our guns We got from Team Rocket and we have to hold these people hostage until they want to go and turn on the train I'm just kidding. We're gonna go up the stairs. I'm just joking and we're actually gonna kidnap their little girl Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm just joking around. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to her Hi, I heard that you lost your cherished poke doll if I find it you'll give me a magnet train pass I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? Pardon I shouldn't decide what you should do, but I'm really worried. What if someone finds it? I just got mind fudged right there. I thought I was myself for a second. I don't even know what's going on. But today we're actually going to be looking for her little doll, which is lost somewhere. Yes, somewhere in this place, somewhere in all of Kanto, and we're going to have to explore all of Kanto in order to find it. Alright, first things first, we haven't been through the east exit, we have been through all the other ones, but we have not actually been to this side, uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and hopefully we can make it through without battling too many trainers, which always makes things a lot better. That's why we have stripes here, uh, ready to cut through these little vines, uh, so we can just keep going on. Hope you guys are having a nice Monday. Day. Uh, I know I am start of a new month uh, you know new adventures happening lots of crazy stuff and I bumped into a random battle uh, which I'm probably just gonna run from it's a Pidgeotto very nice that is a big Kanto Pokemon so that's pretty cool I'm gonna go ahead and run out of this I actually don't have that many repels so you know that's why I didn't use one all right let's go ahead and chop down this vine as I was saying to you guys there's actually a lot of cool stuff coming up for me this week uh this wednesday june uh 4th july 4th i should say we actually have a battle so i will keep going once we beat this old man and you know what it's probably gonna take us two seconds so let's just go ahead and do it i'll explain to you guys while we're doing this this wednesday july 4th i am actually going to be going to el salvador some of you guys know i go there from time to time mostly during the summer or around december around my breaks to go and spend time with my family so i'm pretty excited for that it should be a pretty good time I'm gonna be going over there and relaxing and having a good time spending time with my cousins you know playing some soccer eating some delicious food I'm very excited to go over there and relax you know it's, it's a good thing to do that once in a while and just get away from the normal daily life and then you know, just go and do some crazy adventures so it should be a lot of fun you know uh, maybe I'll have my cousin on for a video or something who knows all right we got 9,000 for winning which is a crap load of money uh, I guess that was a very rich businessman and we have made it here to Lavender Town. Now, this is some of my favorite music uh, ever. It, it's creepy. If you guys have read the creepy pasta on it, it's pretty crazy. Today, we're going to be going inside the Kanto radio station, your best loved shows on air around the clock. I guess the tower that used to host the dead Pokemon kind of disappeared. Don't really know what happened there. Let's talk to this guy. Ah, so you're Rodri, who solved the power plant's problem. Thanks to you, I never lost my job. I tell you, you're a real lifesaver. Please take this as my thanks. Uh, we got the EXPN card loaded into our Poke Gear. Very cool. With that thing, you can tune into even more radio programs here in Kanto. Gah! Evil old man has upgraded our Poke Gear. So now we can actually listen to a lot of crazy radio stations like all those cool kids do and see what else we can pop into. Now that we've gone ahead and done that, we're gonna go to Vermilion City and see if we can actually find the little copycat girl's lost doll, which I'm pretty sure I know where it is. If you guys remember, there's actually a place here that likes little kids a lot. You know, they lure them in with their Pokemon, and I'm just joking around. We're gonna be going into this little place. Ooh, this looks fancy. Let's talk to him. I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. I've raised over 150 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you visit just to hear about my Pokemon? Yeah, that's what we came here for. Good, then listen up. So my precious Rapidash, it's cute, lovely, smart, adorable, irresistible, plus amazing, don't you think so? Oh, so wild, beautiful, kind, I love it. Hug it, it's warm and cuddly. Oh, it's spectacular, captivating, simply divine, I treasure it. Oops, look at the time, I've kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want to give you this present. 
Oh, sweet! We got ourselves a rare candy! We're probably not gonna use that, or maybe I will eventually. Who knows? Let's talk to this big dude. I love Clefairy, but I could never catch one, so I'm making do with a polka doll that I found. What? The girl who lost this polka doll is sad? Okay, could you take this polka doll back to that poor little girl? I'll befriend a real Clefairy on my one Monday. And there we go! That is the Poke doll we have been looking for for the copycat girl. So now that we've done that, everything's looking good, and it is time for us to get out of here. And, and we have been stopped. Hi, my name is Steven, the champion from the Hoenn region. Have we met before? That's not possible. All the trainers I have battled seem to have the same look. Anyway, <laughs> that's funny. Especially the ones who gave me tough battles. By the way, have you heard of a Pokemon called Latias? I'm investigating why Latias, a Pokemon from Hoenn, decided to leave Hoenn to come here. Latias is a Pokemon that has a lot to do with Soul Dew, a gem-like orb. Considering the fact that Latias is now in Kanto, it is possible to assume that this has to do with a Soul Dew. Latias is a Pokemon that travels a great distance. It will be difficult to find without any machine to track it with. But any trainer will be drawn to it, won't they? I must go. May our journeys cross again. May our journeys cross again indeed. And who knows, we might cross paths sometime in the future. Now that we've gone ahead and done that, let's go back to Saffron City and let's give this girl her doll. And maybe she will give us something magical that we have been waiting for a really, really long time. Yes, well, you know, she better give it to us or we're gonna have to punch her in the face because that's what we do to little girls and grandmas in this adventure. Okay, let's get on this bicycle and let's keep on going. Uh, I think it's finally time for us to get that magnet train pass and finally be able to go back from Kanto to Johto without too much trouble. Let's talk to her. Yay, that's my Clefairy Pokedoll! See the tear where the right arm is sewn on? That's proof! Okay, I'll give you this Magnet Training Pass as I promised! So we got the pass! Finally! Now that we've actually gotten the, the Kanto region train station stuff... It, wait, let me see. You show it to the ticket gate on the Magnet Trail! Okay, so what I was saying was, now that we've activated the Kanto power plant with that generator thing and have the Magnet Train Pass, we can actually travel back and forth between the regions without too much trouble, and that's definitely gonna come in handy once we actually have to do stuff uh, from both sides. All right, we have one more thing left to do, one more big thing left to do. If you guys remember, when we first took our step to Kanto, we accidentally went into the wrong direction and bumped into a big guy. A big guy that looked like he was gonna give us a lot of trouble, and that big guy is ready to battle. Okay, here we are in Route 11. It says Diglett's Cave, and this guy is blocking the path. We can't do much, but we got an upgrade to our Poke Gear today. So with that upgrade, uh, the radio thing, we can actually activate some Poke Flute thing that you guys told me. And there we go. It plays it. I'm pretty sure. Hang on. Let me let me find it. Poke Flute. Nope. That's Poke Talk. Poke Flute. So there we go. You just leave it on the Poke Flute feature. And the Snorlax open its eyes wide. Here we go, Rodri versus Snorlax! We are gonna be capturing this big guy. This is the only one in the whole game. So I thought, you know what? We might as well do it. I think it's gonna be fun. Probably gonna be a little bit more difficult. But we're gonna see. It is level 50, so it is pretty strong. Uh, the Snorlax has a lot of great moves, like Giga Impact, as you can see. Uh, which is probably gonna do a good amount of damage. Wow, that did a crap load of damage. And I am actually gonna switch out now, and I'm gonna bring out Sokka. Sokka has the type advantage on this, so we should be looking pretty good. I'm just waiting for it to fall asleep, and then we should be okay. It had to recharge, and now it is asleep, which makes things a lot easier on us. Alright, I'm gonna go for the Brick Break. I'm thinking if I can do a little bit of Brick Breaking, Brackety, 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 combined with a little bit of Aerial Ace, we should be able to weaken it enough to start capturing it. And there we go. The only bad thing about this is that the Snorlax has this right here, and it's Leftovers. Uh, leftovers make it regain a little bit of its health, like every couple minutes, or every like move, every turn, which kind of sucks, because then weakening it down is not going to be as effective as it could be, but you know, all fingers crossed here that we can actually do it without too much trouble. Alright, I'm going to start throwing Pokeballs at it, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to catch it within the red or yellow zone, since it's, since it's not a legendary. Uh, we should be looking okay. All fingers crossed that we can get it a little faster than usual, but we will see. It's already at 2. Oh, I thought we had it. I thought we were going to catch it on the first one there for a second. I was a little bit excited. I really thought we had that. 
All right, it's regaining itself some health. You know what? I'm just going to keep throwing Pokeballs at it for now. Um, no, Ultra Balls at it for now. And then just hope that eventually we do land it. After having, you know, a decent time with Suicune, I think uh, Snorlax will be okay. It won't be, won't be too shabby. This Pokemon woke up, and now we're in for it. Giga Impact. This is going to hurt. This might actually take us down. That is a really, really strong move it's almost crazy how strong that move is i am gonna go ahead and heal up our aqui to put this pokemon back to sleep so when we die with Sokka, which we probably will is it, it's how it's looking right now we should be able to take it out with aqui all right snorlax is recharging that is good for us i'm thinking of just throwing a pokeball why not let's just go ahead no you know what I'll, I'll weaken it with the Aerial Ace. I'll go ahead and do that for now. So when Aqui comes out, uh, we should be looking quite decent. I don't know how many Giga Impacts it has. So it's going to be um, a little bit tricky. This one is definitely going to take us down, though, which is cool with me. You go ahead and take us down, Snorlax. I don't know if we will use Snorlax on our team. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, we are going to use our next Pokemon. And come on out, Aqui. I can't believe this little thing gives us this much trouble. Well, it's not little. It's huge. It's a huge Pokemon. Um... But yes, it's actually going to give us a little bit more trouble. All right, we went for the yawn. We're going to put it to sleep. It should be asleep here within the next turn. I'm going to start using Ice Beam on it. I don't think Ice Beam will KO it. So all fingers crossed here that we can actually keep it alive. I don't want to have too much trouble with you, little dude. Please don't hit a crit. Fantastic. It's going to go for a Giga Impact. But it will fall asleep after this, which makes it good for us. Makes it good, good, good. Uh, as long as we can tank it out. And there we go. It should be asleep after this turn. And now we can start spamming Pokeballs at it. And actually breathe. Breathe for once. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's start chucking them at it. Here we go. Another Ultra Ball. This is like our third one we've chucked at it. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Um, let's just hope that we can catch it eventually. All right. The Wild Snorlax is fast asleep. That's cool with me. You go ahead and do that. You do that thing. All right, come on. Let's keep this going. We, we got this, guys. I mean, how much trouble can a normal type Pokemon give us? Seriously, we are this this big champion, this Kanto region champion. Uh, I actually, you know, I'm pretty excited. Oh, uh, wow. It woke up. What the heck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Naughty, naughty Kool-Aid. All right, it took us down. All uh, right, you know what? Ah, uh, this Pokemon sucks. I hate you, Snorlax. I really do. Um, I'm gonna send out a tank. We're gonna send out Glamis and just hope that Glamis can, you know, hold this thing out. Okay, I'm just gonna keep spamming another Ultra Ball at it, you know, in hopes that we can catch it. We will be training up Glamis soon, guys, so no worries there. A couple of you have been asking me, like, hey, when are you gonna train up Glamis? When are you gonna get it? And there we go. We caught the Snorlax. Fantastic. And yeah, we will be training it soon. Okay, so now that we got this little thing, I gotta think of a nickname for it. First thing that comes to mind is gonna be something that I have no idea what. It says, what sounds like its cry may actually be its snores or the rumblings of its hungry belly. All right, very cool. I like that. So let's go ahead and give it a nickname. And we are actually gonna call it... I, I, I don't know. What is something that rhymes with hungry? Hungry... And Snorri, we're gonna call it Snuggery. I, I, yes, I guess that, that makes sense. Somehow, somehow that makes sense because somehow it's hungry while it's snoring. And there we go. We're gonna send this dude back into the PC. And I just misspelled the crap out of that because uh, I'm sitting here like trying to figure out how to spell it. And Snuggery is gonna be transferred to Bill's PC. Okay, fantastic. Now that that dude has been caught and half our team has been eliminated, we are gonna enter... Diglett's Cave. Ooh, this is mysterious. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Max Repel that we have left over from our adventures because we only have like one left. And now at long last, we're gonna be making our way through here and hopefully getting to where we want to go. Today has been a crazy adventure day. I'm glad we knocked a lot of stuff out though, which is definitely gonna come in handy later on. Let's exit out of here and we have made our way to Route Two, woohoo! Route two, yay! What is there to do in this route? Probably not a whole lot. Probably not a whole lot. 
But if you guys are big Pokemon fans, which I'm sure you are as big of a fan as I am, you know where this is. We have made it to Pewter City. Yay, Pewter City. And in the next episode, we will be making our way inside of a certain place I like to call this gym over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any tips, let me know because we are sure to have a crazy battle here in our midst. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.